Well, hello there, friends. After a very successful eggs benedict hollandaise, uh, everybody's asking, how do we make a bayonnaise? Well, it's really a hollandaise with a reduction of tarragon, sherbet, and shallots in a vinegar and white wine reductions. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab a pan, then you can cook in. It helps if you can cook in the pan. <laughs> um, <laughs> To save a little bit of time, I, I already got a little bit of butter, uh, because we're going to use clarified butter. I already got a little bit of butter right there, then he's sweating my shallots. Whenever you're cooking with onion or shallots, remember, you got to take the time to sweat them. Even in this reduction, it's better if we sweat them a little bit. They're sweeter. You know what you should do is educate your palate one time. Eat a raw shallots or a raw onion, right? And then cook them for a few minutes or so. And you see how much sweeter they are, how much buttery they are, especially if you cook them in butter, they're much more buttery. So shallots out of the way. Um, we're going to put a, 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 a chervil. I got chervil and tarragon. If you can't find chervil, it's like a flat leaf parsley. Put parsley in there. Uh, but look for it. And then tarragon. Tarragon is a must. You might get away with not using a, a chervil, but you got to use a, a, a tarragon, friend. If you can't find fresh tarragon, because it's not exactly easy to get everywhere, um, you can get, use dry tarragon. It works. Not as good, but it works. All right? So we're going to put the, the chervil in there. And uh, I'll give you the exact measurement when you go into the video and you see, click on show more, I'll give you the exact recipe. And, uh, and the tarragon right there. And then we're going to make a reduction with uh, a white wine. And we're going to add a little bit of the tarragon vinegar. And I say a little bit, it doesn't really matter how much you're really putting in, friends. Because what we're going to do, we're going to create a reduction and we're going to reduce down until we have about a tablespoon of it left. Even if you have less, it's okay. But a tablespoon of it left. And to save some time, voila. I got it right here. So here it is. This is our reduction. You see, it's almost dry. I really do not mind if it's dry. I don't mind that at all. Because we are now going to cook the egg in it. So we got egg yolks and... Uh, a little bit of water. You got to put a little water in there. As much as I hate to use water, it's important to put water. So, and then we're going to cook it. Low heat. The heat has to be soft enough, friends, that you can put your hand on it. If it's too hot, you're going to get scrambled eggs. So if you can't put your hand on it, so every so often, if you, if you have gas, it's much easier. <laughs> Eventually, I'm going to get it back to you, I promise you. Uh, but if you have electric, just take the pan and put your hand on it. If you can't put your hand on it, then, then take it out. You have too hot. You, you move. You move away from, to another burner. Okay? You got to be able to put your hand on it. So we're going to put the eggs. And then we're going to put a little bit of water. You can put a little white wine also in here. And don't be afraid to put a little water. And we're going to cook it. And basically what we're going to do, friends, we're going to make it like a zabayon. And we're going to cook the eggs. The water is very important. Otherwise, for certain, you'll have scrambled eggs. How much tarragon you put in, how much chervil you put in, it's really up to you. But I recommend you put a nice amount because that's what makes the sauce so special. In a Hollandaise, you put lemon juice. In a, in a, a Béarnaise sauce, you put a tarragon vinegar. If you don't have tarragon vinegar, use a good white wine vinegar, a good champagne vinegar would be good. Um, a, a good white balsamic vinegar is wonderful also. But it's better if you can find, if you can find a tarragon vinegar because that's really the flavor. So we're going to cook this. And when our eggs, when we can see the bottom of the pot, when it forms, then we are going to um, uh, incorporate our um, uh, uh, clarified butter. I got clarified butter. I got about four ounces of clarified butter. And we're going to incorporate it slowly. First, we got to cook the egg and make a zabayon. When I trained a few years ago, <laughs> we were supposed to do an eight. You see, we're doing apprentice, you're doing an eight. That's the right way to do it. But... Don't worry about it. Just go like this. It works, it works just as good. When chefs were not watching when I was doing my apprenticeship, instead of doing the egg, that's like, it's more stressful to make an egg. I was just going like this, and it works just fine. Okay, but the classical way of doing it is doing it this way. All right, so look, we're cooking. It's becoming nice and foamy. And we're going to cook it until it solidifies. And then we're going to slowly add our clarified butter. This is an emulsion. It's kind of like a mayonnaise in a way. So you're going to introduce the fat, and we're going to do it slowly so that the egg can absorb it. If we do it too fast. So for those of you that have watched my eggs, Benedict, you know you can make the, uh, the hollandaise 
with an emotion blender. Works great. And you add your reduction like we did. You just add your reduction at the last minute. All right. So you see, it's starting to cook. Now check your heat. Okay, it's good. See, I can put my hand. It's hot, but I can put my hand. Matter of fact, I'm going to increase it just a little bit, a little, little bit. And you'll see in a minute, it's going to be solid. So right now it's still liquid. So we've got to continue cooking it. And in a minute, a minute and a half probably, it's going to start to solidify. You got to keep mixing it though. <laughs> That is something you cannot go put it to, to cook and then go do something, okay? So I'm going to continue doing this, and we'll come back in a minute or two when this has solidified. Okay, if you look, friends, you see, you can start seeing the bottom. The eggs are cooked. So now at this point, we need to add a clarified butter, okay? And we want to do it slowly for you. Put in a bit, and you wait for it to be incorporated. You put a little bit more, and you wait for it to be incorporated. Remember, it's an emulsion. It's kind of like when you make a mayonnaise. You put a little bit of butter, wait for it to be incorporated. Don't oversaturate the yolks. Otherwise, they won't incorporate it. You see? We're getting there. Smelling marvelous. Just a little bit more. Make sure it's incorporated. But you want to do this off the heat, because you already got cooked the, cooked the egg. All you're doing now is you're finishing your emulsion. You see? Just a little bit. Now, for those, like I say, if you've seen the, uh, the Hollandaise recipe, don't let this process scare you, friends. Uh, do, the, um, do, do, do the Hollandaise with an immersion blender and add your reduction to it, and it's a foolproof. It's really, really easy to do. This is the classical way of doing it. But, you know, cooking has improved in the last uh, 50 years. Trust me, when I started 50 years ago, we had to make everything from scratch. Everything, everything. You couldn't buy bread. You can, you could buy bread, but you know, most of the stuff you you couldn't buy like they buy the stuff you buy today. You buy some good product today. Years ago, you had to make everything, everything from scratch. Look, we're getting a beautiful consistency, friends. It's gorgeous. It's exactly what I'm looking for. That's a little more. That's about four, four and a half ounces of, of butter, of the heat. It's looking absolutely gorgeous. If you're going to be here and smelling it right now, you would love it. This is exactly what a baroness is supposed to look like. Nice consistency. You don't want it to be too thick. You don't want it to be too thin. But remember, the secret is to incorporate your butter slowly. And when you get the consistency you like, make, make sure you remember you do it slowly, friends. If you do it fast, if you've seen the video on the Hollandaise, you notice I put the butter very, very slowly. Extremely important. And right there, my friends, you have yourself a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous hollandaise. And what I'm going to do, I want to show you. We're going to put it in here. We're going to put it in here. Let me grab a, 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 the spatula. I want you to see how gorgeous it is. Look at this. So this, my friends, has to be served uh, 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 warm. Don't heat it up. You can't reheat it. Sorry to tell you, my friends, but you cannot reheat this, okay? This is great for fish. This is great for steak. This is great for so many things, my friends. And this is absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. 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 Look how beautiful that is. You see? Look how gorgeous that is. That is exactly what a Béarnais should look like. Absolutely gorgeous. Great consistency. Amazing fla flavor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh! I love it. Not exactly, exactly easy. There are a lot of things to remember to do, but you got to try to make it. Uh, a steak with a bearness sauce. Oh, baby, wonderful. I hope you like the segment. Thank you so much for your support. You guys are great. We've had such a great success. I love you guys. You are fantastic. Don't forget, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And don't forget to ring the bell so you get a notification every Thursday when I put out another video. Thanks for watching. We love you guys. Thank you. Oops, it wouldn't be a regular video if I didn't forget anything. <laughs> I know some of you out there say, oh, you forgot the salt, they forgot the pepper. Duh, it was right there in front of me. <laughs> Do you think it's any bigger with the... Um, never mind. I'm going to put a little bit of black pepper here, very fine black pepper. It'd be good to give you another opportunity to see how gorgeous the sauce is. And I got right there, a little bit of salt. Don't tell anybody I forgot, okay? Look, look, mix it up. Do you see, look, I do not care because it's beautiful. Look at this.
Voilà, my friend. Perfectly seasoned. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next week. <laughs>